Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to take a look at a few things that you can do with the Evernote Web Clipper that you might have overlooked. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have it installed in my Chrome browser, and let's choose the Evernote Web Clipper. Now, one of the things you can do is you can see here I have selected Simplified Article, and that allowed the article to strip out the header and all the sidebar content and really just left as is uh, all the other content. Now you'll notice my hyperlinks are still active even though they're not blue here. Now what I can also do is I can go in and I can highlight a portion of the article and save that in my Evernote account. And So that, that article is now clipped in my Evernote account and if I was to read this offline, let's say I'm using my mobile device and I don't have a great Wi-Fi connection or, or a great internet connection, I could still use it in the Evernote app and read it that way. Now let's go back into the Evernote web clipper again. And this time instead of simplified article, let's do screenshot. And you can see here I can take and take a screenshot of any portion of the screen that I see. And from there, I can go in and I can annotate. Let's say I want to highlight a portion of it. I might circle it that way. I might go in this way. And I can highlight that way, cross text. I can write on top of it. And now I can save it that way. And again, that's saving into my Evernote account. And one more time, let's open the Web Clipper again. And of course, besides the uh, clipping of the full page, we can also clip just the bookmark itself. And so I'll save just the bookmark with a little portion of the article and the link. So those are three things you can do with the Evernote Web Clipper that you might find really handy or your students might find handy as well. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.